Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. We just finished up in Madras, Oregon, where we had our championship series. If you guys missed that, make sure you go back and watch that. We did really well there. After we finished up in Madras, we ran over to a friend's house and ended up camping with them for about a month. Didn't pick up the camera much here, but um, we had a really good time over there. While we were there, we had a fire that was actually pretty close to the, the property we were on. So as you can see in that cloud of smoke over there. In this episode, we're gonna be sharing our camping episode uh, while we were in Oregon. It's kind of a longer video than normal. Hopefully you guys stay till the end. There's a lot of good footage here that I just couldn't leave out of the video. So enjoy our Oregon camping trip. Mount Hood. That's where we're heading tomorrow. And it is the Saturday night dirt track races, so kind of noisy here. Hopefully that stops here pretty soon. If we had time, it would have been fun to go to. Right there is Mount Jefferson. Pretty neat little place out here in Madras, Oregon. Really great overnight stop. Today, we're 
driving to our boondock camping area that we'll spend the next seven to ten days in near Mount Hood, Oregon. We went from an area in southern Oregon that was approximately 88 degrees yesterday to a balmy 66 degrees today. What an improvement. We're looking forward to the next couple days doing some sightseeing, being tourists, and enjoying some cool weather during the summer. It's pretty neat so far that we haven't had to encounter anything above 89 degrees and it's early June. Today's episode, we're outside of Mount Hood in Oregon, and we were doing some boondocking, testing out my new solar system, which I've never fully used yet, so I'll be tempted to uh, see how that works. I got three 200 watt panels on the roof, and then a couple 100 watt panels that are like collapsible and can be put up, so we'll see if that can sustain the battery. I'll give you guys an update later in the video on that. but. While we're here, we're going to do some boondocking, some sightseeing uh, of the local attractions around here and go up to Timberline Lodge, which was a historic landmark up there. So we're here for about a week and a half and um, we brought 120 gallons of water that we'll be sifting through and uh, hopefully we don't fill up our black tank. But uh, anyways, we have all the provisions we need here. Uh, gas generator, propane generator, plenty of propane. This weekend it might actually snow, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a coat and the sun goes down here, it gets pretty cold. Uh, got some pretty cold nights coming up. I am working all week here. As you can see, I got the Starlink up over there and uh, doing all my doing all of our adventures after work so um had to get it up on that pole to try to get it past these trees these trees are obstructing it a little bit but it still works pretty good it just uh kind of cuts out occasionally because these trees are really tall and the top of them are, are causing some starlink obstructions a little bit but other than that uh everything's going pretty good here we're gonna go check out another potential boondocking spot where we may spend the last two or three days at. The reason we chose this spot is um, it's an abandoned airstrip. It's got more open spaces and also amenities for the dogs. So we have plenty of shade for the dogs to uh, let them kind of hang out. But yeah, that's about it. This is our campsite and uh, I'm going to have a lot of photos and videos throughout this video for you guys to check out. So um, let's go check out this first spot.
Neo. Neo. Oh. <laughs> Feel how cold it is. Oh, that's pretty cold. That's pretty cold. Oh, this is a crazy trail. Hey guys, we're at Drillium Lake. I'm doing a walk around the lake. It's got some of the best views of uh, Mount Hood. Pretty scenic trail here. Think. It smells fishy. Today is Neo's birthday, by the way. She's the lucky one that got to come on the walk. She turns four years old today. There's a little few mouse. Did you just smirk it? No. There's three of them. What are they? They're like salamanders. Do they have gills or lungs? Um, I think they have the surface. It's weird that there's three right there. Crazy how it's not afraid. Oh, here's a big one. Hop the other things. You want to swim out there? A tiny little pop up camera.
looks like an idiot. Riley Horse Camp. That'd be interesting. This one shakes. This one's the hardest. What? This one shakes. It's the hardest. damn cold. We're almost to the top. Kelly isn't telling me where we're going. This is totally her trip. The climb is a lot harder than it looks or than we thought. We've climbed over a thousand feet in elevation. But this side of the mountain, it's definitely more like rainforest-like. A lot of moss on the trees and flowers and all sorts of stuff. But we're almost at the end of the trail and I think I hear a waterfall. So let's go check this out. So where the heck are we? We're at Ramona Falls. Ramona Falls. Temperature is dropping, it's awesome. I 
know yet. I hope so.
dude is pretty tired, so are we. We just hiked over a thousand feet in elevation and over seven miles to get to that waterfall just for you guys so you can see that beautiful view. Whatever, we were there for <laughs> us. Just kidding. We totally went there for us, but definitely brought the camera along for you guys. Hope you enjoyed that and wonder what Kelly's going to plan for tomorrow's adventure. Beer and hamburgers. Yeah, we're thinking the Timberline Lodge with some beer is in our future. Maybe not so much hiking, our feet hurt pretty bad. guys first day it hasn't been raining slash almost snowing it never did snow at our campsite but we're heading to uh frog lake it's our last day here and then we're packing up and leaving tomorrow so we're gonna go to frog lake and if we have time we're going to uh mount hood meadows after this so this isn't much of a hike uh had a lady tell us that if you go to Frog Lake at the right time of the year, there's a a ton of frogs down here. So I don't know. It's probably too early for it, but we'll see if we can find some frogs.
Pib. Pib. Got a little lost, but we found this waterfall called Salehi Falls. Little bridge right here. The highway's right down there.